All right, everyone, we got some exciting news for our 3MA Audio customers. And we are currently in San Francisco, California. We are on our way to Magical Audio um, to get some training on Magical Speakers and also be able to see their listening room with M9s. That's gonna be very exciting. Um, we are soon to have our demo speakers at the store for all of our customers to be able to come down and listen. We're gonna have a pair of uh, Magical M3s and a pair of Magical A5s available for audition um, coming soon. So we are expecting to be able to discuss probably later on uh, a lot more about the technologies that uh, go into these speakers. And again, we're very excited to be able to carry this brand. So um, I'll be shooting up some footage about factory and the history. So thank you. All right. So this is the magical listening room. You're looking at the M9s and not just the speakers equally as important the the room the room is just really amazing and i don't know if you could hear from my voice but it is engineered to perfection to minimize any room influence in the sound so uh we're about to listen to this it's going to be very special so what are we seeing here so this is the ultimate three and uh, this was a, a five-way uh, horn speaker system and uh, incredible performance it's since been discontinued but um, we did manufacture many many pairs and they were all around the world um, yeah this was uh, our effort to make a, a boxless loudspeaker <laughs> no enclosure wow look at the size i mean it's hard to grasp the sheer size of this thing if you're not seeing it in person but trust me this is really stunning the entire factory i mean just the uh, cnc machining on the machine shop the quality control i mean a lot of pharmaceutical companies don't have the quality control that these guys have so we're buying quality all right peter what are we looking at here so this is our museum at the factory, and uh, this is the Q1, uh, now discontinued, but uh, phenomenal two-way mini monitor. Um, at the time, it was using a beryllium dome tweeter with uh, uh, carbon uh, seven-inch mid-base driver, all machined aluminum. Um, the Q series had the tension rods running from the front baffle to the rear to tension the enclosure and engage constrained layer dampening to minimize and reduce resonance from the enclosure. Um, beside the Q1, we have the Q5. Uh, this was a four-way uh, design, including the Q7 to its right, which is also a uh, bigger brother in the Q series. This is the Q7 Mark II, and uh, it's also a four-way design. Um, incredible performance. Over to the right here, we have the M5. In these products, we were using uh, laminated birch enclosures uh, with aluminum front baffle and rear uh, spine. The um, V3, V2, and the famous Mini 2, which really uh, put Magico on the map. So this is what really got Magico to be the company that it is today. Well, it was a starting point. And uh, the company's grown by leaps and bounds and the trajectory of success for Magico has, has been uh, very steep. And that's all for good reasons. This is the m rack uh, without the shelves, but we do get involved in, um, in rack systems that are phenomenal. Again, employing constrained layer damping. Um, each shelf weighs about 85 pounds. You don't see them on this um, skeleton frame. Uh, we have cable management and we have a central grounding pin. So components and the shelves can be grounded to a central point in the system 
again to uh, eliminate noise. Many awards. Many awards. We don't have enough room on the walls for the awards that we have. <laughs> uh, it's always exciting and very appreciated to get recognized by all the great magazines and reviewers out there. This is the M Project, and this was the uh, genesis of the diamond-coated beryllium dome tweeter with the uh, carbon graphene uh, six-inch mid-range driver. This was a very special project, hence the name, the M Project, and uh, we made 50 pairs, and uh, without anyone hearing them, they were sold and uh, embraced by uh, fans of Magico, and uh, again, it really was the genesis of this new tweeter and mid-range driver using uh, carbon with graphene, and that trickled down into the S series. We've got the S1 original, with the S1 Mark II. And the jump here was the uh, addition of the diamond-coated beryllium dome tweeter with the carbon graphene seven inch mid base. What does the uh, diamond coating do to the already stiff uh, beryllium tweeter? So it allows us to use, uh, uh, the diamond is a, is a chemical vaporization uh, deposit that gets dusted onto a thinner membrane of beryllium. So the two materials make one extremely stiff, but optimized stiffness to weight ratio in a tweeter. So it looks a little bit darker than the just traditional beryllium tweeter. Correct. It's got so a little here more you have it side shine by side. to it. Mm -hmm. right. Same thing holds true on the uh, carbon graphene. Oh yes, that's true. You it see, does. There's a, a bit of a bit more shine to it. Right. Very nice. So this is the S3 original, and then the S3 Mark II. This is an S5 original, and the, well, this is the shell of the S5 Mark II. Look at the construction, the attention to detail. I mean, this is really amazing. All aluminum construction. Mm -hmm. This is the S series. This is which one, the S3? This is the S5 Mark S5. II. S5. And then beside it, we have the S7. And look at the S7, my God. Yeah. Look at the thickness of that. So all, Inner this machine, baffle. all this machining uh, gets done at the factory, with the exception of these side panel extrusions. And um, so we're using a copper ring gasket. No cost spared. So that's our, our museum. All right, here we're at uh, Magico Factory in Hayward, California, and we have the, uh, this is a technology table. We have a few items here just to go over with Luis from uh, 3MA Audio. Um, let's start off with the uh, Magico Pod devices. This is the Magico Q Pod. It's designed uh, to sit underneath the chassis of a component, and it's designed uh, with the well-documented science of constrained layer damping. So there's multiple layers of machined aluminum, uh, copper substrate with stainless steel bottom. And what this device does, like all pod devices, this is an M-Pod, um, all pod devices are designed to accept energy from the top or bottom and dissipate mechanical resonance and convert it to heat through a copper substrate. You can see this dissected here. This is an M-Pod, this comes as a footer system for all the M series, the M2, M3, M6, and M9. But you can see the copper, which people know that it, copper heats up very quickly. So when it's energized with resonance, transferring through this EAR thermoplastic material, it converts to heat and gets rid of uh, mechanical resonance while maintaining a perfect coupling for the speaker to the floor. Okay, so perfect coupling but also a substrate structure that allows to dissipate heat and get rid of resonant noise. At Magico, we design all of our own transducers. We have a few select pieces to talk about here. This is the uh, five inch dedicated mid-range driver that's used in the A5. Um, it's highly compliant. The driver cone material is made of uh, honeycomb sandwich aluminum with a graphene layer uh, on top and behind the cone. 
huge motor system, as you can see. The graphene layer is for what purpose? Uh, the graphene is a stiffening agent for the uh, cone material itself. So we can actually use two materials, the main material uh, being the honeycomb sandwich aluminum, and the graphene stiffens it. So it can be a very thin, but very, very stiff uh, cone. And graphene is a carbon, and it's a uh, hundred times stronger than the strongest steel. So it's wow. incredibly stiff and strong, and that helps stiffen the, the actual cone. This is a base driver out of the M6, again, using a carbon with graphene. You can see the motor system on this driver is massive, it has a massive voice coil. It's got a long uh, throw to the voice coil assembly. And this is a driver from the new M9. And you can see, again, purpose-built, um, incredibly stiff basket. The cone uh, material, again, is similar to the uh, material in the A5 mid-range. This is a 15-inch? This is a 15-inch, uh, correct. And as I mentioned, we designed everything from the ground up at Magico, including the crossover networks. Uh, this is the crossover out of an A5. A5. Yes. This Custom is. built components. Correct. For the A5 series. Right. So designed by Magico, manufactured by Mundorf, fully tested and shipped here from um, Germany. And this two-story assembly is the crossover for an M3. Wow. Every driver gets its, a dedicated wire run to each driver. Massive coils, ribbon coils, oil caps. Um, Magico, we, we came up with a term for our crossover designs. They're called elliptical symmetry. So the gap between each divide is very, very narrow between each transducer with the goal of having an extremely linear response over a wide bandwidth of information. When uh, dealers visit the factory, they go through the uh, machine shop. We have six Haas uh, CNC machines and we do this level of work with pure aircraft grade aluminum. This is T6 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. And this is uh, a prototype of the M9 front panel that holds the mid range and the tweeter. And all this machining is done at the factory. Um, the great thing about uh, being an engineering company and, and manufacturing, if we have any new ideas on designs, we can put it into the computer system, uh, do an AutoCAD, and then run it right to production uh, as a finished product. So not off the shelf, everything is designed <laughs> or made here in California. I mean, it's really the technology that goes into these products is it's just like nothing else out there. Well, that's, that's very true. And we're very proud of that. So the finished result is, is incredible. And uh, we take the time to make it really a bespoke product where we're designing everything from the ground up. Enclosure designs, all aluminum or incorporating carbon. And when have you guys seen a voice coil that big on a base driver? It's just incredible. Incredible motor structure, just the basket, everything, everything is put so much detail. Look at the uh, the wire going to the voice coil. I mean, it's just, you really get what you're paying for when you're buying this product. That is true. Even with the uh, with the feet and the, the footers, and there's literally copper in between these. So, you know, and able to uh, isolate any influences, so. Yeah, what the M pods or Q pod, any magical pod device does is it lowers the noise floor. It takes mechanical resonance away from the component or from the speaker enclosure. So you, by lowering noise, will realize much 
more micro macro signal dynamics in the musical soundstage. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Peter, for all of this. You're welcome. Please let us know if you have any questions. Feel free to email us. You can comment below. We'll be uh, watching to see if we can answer any questions. Any questions we cannot answer, we will be happy to forward to Magical. Thank you guys for watching.